I am player and I'm melting. Good afternoon. It's been the hottest summer in Ireland ever. Met Aaron has announced that June 2023 will be recorded as the hottest June on record. I'm warming up before tag and I'd say this is the hottest day we've had all summer. And every time I say it's hot in Ireland, all the Americans come into the chat and they go, that's not hot. This, you don't know nothing about hot. But what you don't understand is that when it's hot in Ireland, we have this like almost unbearable humi humidity that comes with it. We call it very close. And today it's fierce close, almost unbearably close. Provisional data shows that Ireland has experienced its first June with 16 plus degrees Celsius. Okay, that doesn't sound that much. Average temperatures exceeding the previous June record, which was held for 83 years. Okay, that doesn't sound that impressive when you put it like that, but it's been really, really fucking hot. It's very sunny today, and I'm definitely gonna burn if I don't keep talking about my sun cream. I actually kind of feel like I'm burning through it already. The highest temperature of 2023 so far was 28.8 degrees Celsius. This is the third consecutive year that a temperature at or above this value has been observed in Ireland. See so yeah, how we're sweltering. It says 24 degrees, but I need a real feel lap because it is way more humid than that. But feel free to come in the comments and be like, it's really, really hot. Also, reminder, Irish not used to it, okay? Okay. Thank you. I'm loving it. I love the summer. I love the sun. It is actually also, even though it's been so really, really warm, it's also been really, really wet. So tonight I'm venue managing. There's been a lot of playing in the rain this summer. I got absolutely soaked yesterday and I remember thinking when I was leaving the house I was like, thank God I won't get wet like I got wet yesterday. It was genuinely sunny like 10 minutes ago. For someone who talks about how sunny it is, I sure took a lot of footage of it when it was raining. I have to play tag tonight. And look at this rain. I've been fluting around the country like a bat out of hell, trying to go to everything and see everything. I actually have been driving a go car for the last while as part of an upcoming sponsored video, and I loved it. I have really enjoyed driving this, and I do not, I do not want to get back. <laughs> Outside of doing really cool things around Ireland for my job, Alex and I have been hanging out and having the crack. <laughs> my birthday and his sister's birthday, the family went up to La Hinch. No cool Airbnb this time, just a house. One really interesting thing I learned about La Hinch while I was there is that there's an ongoing dispute about how La Hinch should be spelled between the Irish language version and the anglicised kind of English language version of the Irish. And how I learned this is that there are signs all over La Hinch where people have graffitied them to change the spelling. And I asked in a shop and a local man told me the scale. Give me the story. He spilled the tea. Give me the skinny <laughs> on the local drama. I am not getting any closer to the edge than this, sorry. That's the edge. This is it. Though interestingly enough, this doesn't seem as high as the actual Cliffs of Moher. So I think if you fell off this here, you'd actually just really hurt yourself the whole way down. And you maybe wouldn't die. <laughs> But if I fell off this bit, I'd definitely die because there's a big drop after this. So you'd have to fall off. Anyway, whatever, let's stop talking with this. So this is all walled off. So you can't get in. I don't even really know if we're meant to be in this section, to be honest. But every, we followed as we went in, so. See, this is what I like now. I like this view. Look how good you can see them from here. But I'm nowhere near the edge. This is, I prefer this now. <gasps> Hello, doggies. Moving tractor. I'm gonna have to explain that one later. We're driving backwards because the tractor. We don't fit. We don't fit on the road. We're driving on these very tiny roads here that only fit one car, and we pulled aside there to let another car pass us. And so anyone who's seen my driving wave video will be will know. But they didn't wave after they passed us. We pulled aside, and both of us just went rude. We went to tourists. 
Okay, so I was just in Spoonies and I saw a cloud cone and I got it. <laughs> this is what it is. I am 35 years old. Happy 35th birthday to me. Okay. I am absolutely covered oh, in cotton candy. Okay, see you later. Just vlogging, yeah. 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 Shut up, Alex. I didn't get any surfing in, unfortunately, but we did hide from the rain in the pub. No idea there was a rugby match on. It just sort of happened to work out that way. <laughs> I came to find Alex and found him watching the rugby, which he assures me was totally accidental. He didn't even know it was on. He didn't even know it was on. Isn't that right, Alex? Oh, no idea. Very cute. We were up stupid early to drive three and a half hours on the train. But look at the fog. Oh my God. Alex and I have both played for Dublin and for Ireland in recent months. Anthems. Hi everyone and welcome to the British and Irish Cup. We're just getting ready to do the National Anthems. We're looking forward to a fabulous day here in London where the weather is very warm. We promise that we're going to play the short version of Irish call, Ireland's call today. So it'll be just the two verses rather than the usual four. And it'll be the right version that's actually played today, which will definitely be a first for uh, British and Irish uh, Cup competitions. Individually, I played pretty well, if I do this for myself. Teams didn't win. <laughs> Don't want to talk about it. That will actually be all that was written in this one. GB7, Ireland, nothing, the final score. We play for different teams, but we're at all the same tournaments. <laughs> so, we still hang out a lot. Okay, so we're in Cork. We're actually at two separate team dinners, but neither of our teams are here yet, because we're early. It's always early. <laughs> Alex's team made the plate final, which is the third place playoff, and they won. And my team made the final final, and we won! That's the team I was coaching now, so they're off in a different pub. They're doing um, a kangaroo court. But now I'm meeting with my team that I'm playing with, who I'm playing with tomorrow, the ladies team, for dinner. There's a lot of moving parts to this jigsaw. And then Alex is meeting his team that he was playing with and kind of coaching in this same place. Just around the corner, your mom was like, have you ever seen through the window? And I was like, good, because I don't like to take my eyes off. <laughs> Look at my shirt, how cool is my shirt? Has a real fresh out of the packet vibe because I didn't think to iron it, but anyway. Playing for your country in any sport is like not an easy thing to do. It's a commitment, right? It's a time commitment. Sometimes it can be really challenging physically, sometimes mentally. Don't get me wrong, I love it. I absolutely love it. However, one of the things I love most about it is the crack. So first of all, I know everybody else who plays for Ireland. We know everyone on all the other teams at this stage. And so we were flying over to England recently to play in the British and Irish Cup, so Ireland versus Great Britain, which we lost for the second time in the tournament's history, so it's now 7-2 to Ireland in tournament wins. Not that that's important, but anyway. <laughs> but on the plane on the way over, they put me in the emergency exit aisle, which meant I had so much room. And so every single player who got on the plane after that slagged the shit out of me as I walked past. They were all like, she doesn't need that leg room. <laughs> Another thing I love about playing for my country are the mascot wards. <laughs> So each Ireland team has a mascot. It's normally given to the youngest player on the team to take care of. They have to bring it to all the training sessions. They have to bring it to the tournaments and they have to leave it in visible view. Those are the rules. But they also have to make sure the other teams don't steal it. And of course, it's the end goal of all the other teams to steal the mascot and put it through torture. <laughs> Our team's mascot did not make it out alive last year. <laughs> Ripped to the goat. So this year we got a new mascot and I was minding it for a week. And while it was here in the house, Alex got his hands on it. And he did this to it. Princess, how are you? Fine, why are you filming me? Could you do me a favour and open the freezer, please? <laughs> the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> Ah, 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 ah. 
<laughs> Can you take it out? <laughs> <laughs> Many hours later. Oh my god, it's still not melted yet. There she is. Come and look. All <laughs> 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 right, I've got a dry in today. She's still probably Oh, the metal of her was rising. <laughs> Leave her out in the sun. All right. She deserves a sunbathe after all she's been through. We've watched a lot of sport and we've gone to a lot of rugby matches. We were at two Leinster rugby matches in a row where they lost. I actually had a TikTok that I took at one of these matches featured on an Irish like content aggregation website. <laughs> Really funny thing about that clip is a poor Jack, my friend Jack, was imitating this meme that Alex loves. Sorry, lads. Let's go. Let's go. And he was imitating this to make Alex laugh, and then it backfired on him horribly. <laughs> Ooh, I also cried because a horse got shot at Cheltenham. <laughs> I had a little watery eye moment in the pub, but I didn't fully cry. I was really trying not to do it in public. <laughs> Alex and I recently also celebrated our fifth anniversary, wedding anniversary, and did nothing for it. We just <laughs> we just played tag and had pints, a pint, which I'm happy with. It's my favorite thing to do. And then I forgot his birthday shortly after that. So happy anniversary. <laughs> Love you. Last but not least, I put a pizza in the oven at one point with the tray that it comes with and it melted. <laughs> it melted to the inside of the oven. Because you're not meant to put the fucking cardboard in the oven. Like, what is wrong with me? I haven't told Alex this, so when he watches this vlog, he's going to get so annoyed. <laughs> Lord above, give me strength. Give the people around me strength to deal with me. Thank you so much for watching all the videos I put out recently. I'm thank you for watching this video. I really wanted to check in and say hello. Yeah, just let you know that I've so much content filmed to come for you, and I really, really hope you like it. And yeah, please watch it, like it, share it if you can. If you're in a position to support the channel, my Patreon totally funds these videos and makes them possible. I would not be able to make anything, go anywhere, do anything without my Patreon. In return for people's support, I have different tiers where I give different rewards. Um, so please check that out. I hope that you are well. And I hope you have had a lovely few months. And you are also having the time of your life. In the summer. In the sweltering heat and only taking videos of the rain. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Slan slan.